doesn't matter if I overlay too much there. Anyway, while we're waiting for things, uh, any, 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 mo, uh, that one there. Two, three, four, five. There. Those are all done. I can probably do some rolling contracts. I don't know what side, uh, how much roller capacity I have. Probably check that while we're driving. Uh, my stuff rollers. The field roller is 160 horsepower. We can run that on the uh, the Renault. Hmm. Okay. We'll do some things. So one of the discords I was on. Oh, we were talking about the various side panels, the HOTUS um, farm sim wheel and stick, which is kind of a combo um, Is it joystick and um, air flight sim throttle control um, device all on one one mounting? The problem is, is it costs about four hundred bucks. So really, way too expensive, I think, for my tastes. We've still got the old Logitech side panel and wheel. I do not recommend the wheel, although I have heard that the quality on those is much improved since um, Logitech bought out Cytec. So Cytec was the original producer of the FarmSim side panel and wheel, and quite frankly their quality control was horrendous. Um, I happen to have a very good side panel. My side panel has been running for, I think I said 4,900 hours. And it's, you know, the buttons are getting a little bit tired now. But 4,900 hours for a piece of kit that's not the best, I would say, in quality. Um, and I, as I said, I've heard someone's bought a Logitech one much more recently and they they did have a Cytec one and suggested that the Logitech side panel is better quality. Okay, let's stop there. Turn everything off and fold it up. So, side panel is a good buy. It's $160. And then there is the Thrustmaster farm stick which they sold out of. Um, it didn't take them long, but they sold out. So, a uh, little bit unfortunate. Any, uh, any, any, mo. That'll be something. 84. I guess we can start down there. Um, the Thrustmaster is a saying, the Thrustmaster farm stick, which is basically a joystick with lots of buttons on it, and um, a lot of farm sim friendly controls on where the you know normally the trigger buttons are. Um, that's only a hundred bucks if you can get one, and unfortunately they're kind of sold out. And reading between the lines. Um, probably won't be any till February but as I was saying my my uh, side panel is getting a little bit old and I am looking to replace it um, it's done 160 yeah sorry it's done 4900 hours over farm sim 17 19 and 22 so it's got a good age 
but yeah, I was saying on, on one of the discords, we were talking about the side panel and uh, when I said my number of hours, one guy sort of said, I was going to say, good grief, that's a lot of hours, but I looked at mine and I've got over 6,000 in uh, Farm Sim 19 and 22 only. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> who's the Farm Sim addict? But that, that was quite amusing. You've got how many out? Oh, I've got even more. I'll keep my mouth shut. Try to stay out of the hedge. This is going to be fun. Actually, this is not going to be a problem. Some more tractors go around corners. my side panel misbehaving a bit. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of tools in Farm Sim 22 that take a very long time to unfold. This is one of them. So it's not like you can unfold it press the go button and it's all set to go you're frequently getting the message oh you have to wait for the equipment to unfold I find that on the cedars on um, what else do we have that unfolds there's a couple of things where yeah I think Moa the, the the mower system, no, not the mower system. I forget. But it's like, uh, yeah, I'm already, let's go. And it's, no, I'm still unfolding. Really? Oh, the cultivator, the, the horse aggravation pack, a lot of that equipment needs to be unfolded till you can put it on the ground, till you um, lower it, anything like that. And so, uh, and you can't fold it until you've raised it off the ground. All, all those sorts of things. So there's a lot of sort of messages that you get. Oh, you have to unfold. You know, you have to lift the equipment up before you can unfold it. You can't lower it until it's unfolded. And this sprayer has a very slow action. It unfolds, but then it has to lower into position. And you look at it, and it's unfolded, I can go now. I say, no, you can't. How quickly are we going through this? Ooh. I might... I don't know, once we've done this field, I'll, I'm going to have to look at where the other four fields are. Uh, I might be able to swing by the store and buy some fertiliser. If it's convenient, because obviously going back to the yard is not impressively convenient at this stage. We're right by the southern road. This is the last field south before the road. And I think we've got a bunch of contracts along that road, but we're 30% through this field. I've got all the sensors on and everything. Not that it should make any difference, because this is contract, therefore uses base game rules. It would be nice if... Uh, if precision farming was precise for contracts as well as um, your own stuff. So I'm having an absolute nightmare the last few days with my hip and my back at the moment. 
think the problem is is sitting one of the reasons I, I'm actually watching more TV but it's streaming 1990s early 2000s shows is because I can't sit on my office chair all day like what I used to I, there's no chance I can stream in the evenings after work because I need to get up and just walk away and decompress my back which usually involves lying on the sofa and I, I mean I have to take a break during the day as well just get away and lie down just to relieve the pressure on my back so yeah there's not going to be any nighttime streams anytime soon and uh, that is what it is because I was trying to think you know why don't I stream quite so much as I used to and part of it is hey we get to watch some family friendly shows with the kids in the evening after they're done with school or she's done with school and I'm weaving all over the place so I think we'll just turn around bright eyes um, go back up the field but yeah I just I just need to get away from it and I can't you know it's it's all biting into stuff that I want to do and stuff that I can do comfortably I wouldn't say without pain but comfortably so I can play you know I can play a few hours of farm sim in the morning not an issue um, on the weekends and then I need to go and do something else although a lot of the time as I said I, I I've been playing an hour and a half this morning before the stream just to get the silage compacted and covered um, but I can't go down in the basement and you know cut some wood nail some wood whatever because I need I need to take the weight off my back and standing up's just as bad as sitting down um, so model trains are not getting done although I am seriously wanting to get down there and do some stuff uh, maybe Mrs. Osa will help you never know and then uh, yeah it's sort of playing computer games going out going out's painful every so often I will go shopping but I'm more of a hindrance than a a help at this stage I'm not driving because my hip yeah driving farm sim okay it's the the springs in the pedals aren't that bad so it's not painful and also if I get a spasm in my hip I'm gonna crash some pixels into some other pixels I'm not gonna wreck a car which is kind of pretty expensive mistake to make so yeah Mrs. Osa is once again my chauffeur. We went through this back in, oh, I want to say about 2015. Um, I was having some really bad shoulder pain and I could not sleep. Um, I'd sleep a couple of hours, I'd wake up because of the pain, I'd take some painkillers, I'd go back to sleep for 30 minutes and it was just interrupted sleep, just horrible. And I got up one morning, I went to work, I got to work it was 10 o'clock and I'm like I'm at work I don't remember getting up I don't remember having breakfast I don't remember driving here I don't know what happened all of a sudden I'm here at work and at that point we decided this is dangerous um, I, and it wasn't because I wasn't awake it was my brain was just fried um, yeah obviously my eyes were open I was doing all the automatic things but just no my memory you know because my brain is fr was fried at the time it's sort of my memory was just switched off and my ability to build memory was switched off and at that point it's like yeah no this isn't happening and Mrs. Osa took over driving 
me to work and picking me up in the evening and just driving me everywhere because I didn't feel safe doing it. And then we became foster parents and it became difficult because I had to be at work and she had to be driving me at work and dropping me off at exactly the same time as the foster kids needed to be dropped off at school. Well, obviously that doesn't work well. Um, and at that point, uh, my boss said, you, you know, if you want to work from home, you can. And then six months later, he said, we'd like you to stay working from home because we have some new hires and not enough desk space for them all. So, okay, that's fun. I like that. And it, uh, you know, it, it, it ended up with both, both of the sales programming team work from home. The other guy, his mum was having serious issues and so he had to take time off to look after her. So he got to work from home and got um, flexi time, which normally the company doesn't allow. But it was just, he was working at three o'clock in the morning so he could get his hours in and look after his mum during the daytime. And he can, you know, he could take naps during the daytime. Um, while he was helping his mum, because his mum would take naps, so uh, yeah, more a convenience thing than anything else. We are about to finish this. Come on, tell me you're done. I saw the 95% message. Tell me I'm done. I have to go back to the entrance and yeah, there we go. And then COVID came and the entire department is now working from home and will be probably mostly forever unless someone has a severe dislike to work from home because they just can't concentrate. Okay. I know some of the guys have dozens of kids and you know, and they're homeschooled by their mums, so it's like not really convenient. Okay, there's that field there. Hmm. There's that field there. Ninety-five and thirty-four. So ninety-five and thirty-four this way. If I could do 34, hmm, I think I might be able to do 95, so how do we get to it? Come out of there, turn left, go south, turn right, and follow it round until it's inside. Okay. Yeah, because doing 95, we've got 39% of a tank left. Um, I can either then, depending on how much fertiliser we have in the tank, either go and do 34, or I can go via the store, do 34, probably buy two tanks of fertiliser, which are 2,000 litres each. That's more than this fertiliser spreader can take, um, but I could top it off, do 34, and then go back and top it off with the rest see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm driving into a tree. Good job. Um, but it'll save um, going back to the yard and topping off there. And if I've got any fertilizer left in the tanks at the end of this, we can... Tr uh, we'll probably keep it in the... Uh, I don't know if that was a cut through that I want to use. I don't think it was. Yeah, I if we we're gonna need more spray because obviously next month the corn needs fertilizing and that has a horrendous desire for uh, for stuff. 
Now, one... One thought I do have, if I forage the barley this month, um, if I do it in the morning, I can then go out and plant the field with... Um, with maize. Uh, we'll have four maize fields to harvest come uh, end of year. That, that's a big suggestion. Two forages in, in one year from, from non-grass crop. Ooh. I might look into that. Um, that might be an interesting way to go. I believe, in general, that um, grass silage and whole crop silage yields about the same, um, whereas maize silage yields a lot more. But um, but isn't worth as much as the whole crop. Mm, thoughts. It's money in the bank. It's money in the bank in June when we get round to selling the silage. Obviously, the grass silage is going to be ready. Turn right here. Yes, I do. Um, the grass silage is going to be ready on June 1, but not until 8 o'clock in the evening. So I'm not going to be able to pull that in or sell that immediately. But... Uh, I can sell that starting in June 2, and as I said, I'm probably going to end up um, selling off the silage bit by bit. Um, the only criteria is I need to have a bunker empty the next time something is ready to harvest. So we can whole crop the barley. I've got a spare bunker. Um, we can sell the grass over the course of June. And I think that, oh, turn tight, turn tight. I think that the oats might be ready to forage in June. So um, if that comes available, I can put the oat forage in the silage bunker that currently has the grass in it. Um, end of June, the barley would be ready, which then means July, probably not cutting grass until August. So I've got the entirety of July to sell off si uh, silage until the grass is ready to cut. And then in August, we're going to have the maize ready to silage. So, going to have... Uh, I guess if I'm, if I'm churn, turning over the, the silos that quickly, I don't care if I get um, the best price. I need to be able to sell the most that I can at the best time that I can. And we're always going to be able to sell the maize and the last grass cut at the best price. So we're always going to get one harvest, which is best time of year. What I can't remember is if the BGA accepts... Um, anything but whole crop. I did look. Um, I, I 
started. I, I set up a couple of saves on this map before I start. Before I uh, elected what exactly what I was going to be doing. So I did one where I bought the BGA and looked at it and said, "Oh, that's that's not going to work well for me because of the restrictions of the in-game BGA." I could have bought the uh, BGA units that I was using in Maypole, but I kind of wanted to give that a break. How am I doing? 29% left. We're pr I am definitely going to buy a couple of containers from the store before we go to the next field. It just makes all the sense. the important thing because we don't have any okay let's and we're not going to have access to um, knowing contracts until June which is a shame we, we cut the grass early the grass was still in its final stage of growing and not ready to uh, harvest. Which is A, why there's no grass contracts to do, and B, why we only got 910,000 litres from all of our fields. Uh, if I want to plant things, I have to... Uh, we're missing a bit probably won't be critical. Stick that on and mm, what was I looking at? Oh crop calendar. Uh, barley can be planted in May too but that would make it a late uh, maturing crop. So I learned something about uh, the difference between spring and winter crops. There's a lot of cereals you can plant in winter or in, in the fall and those seeds are specifically bred to be activated by freezing temperatures. So you stick them in the ground as soon as the ground freezes the seed kind of wakes up and waits for things to warm up but it's a much hardier crop. Um, it's just not as good yielding as a spring crop. The spring crop you plant in spring when everything's nice and warm and as soon as the seed hits the ground it says yay there's not going to be any frost so it's not going to be killed by cold temperatures. And the yields on those tend to be better. The risk you're taking with a spring crop is that the growth period uh, the end of it is very close to um, your cold temperatures coming in again and so you might lose the crop to frost if you get an early frost.